Wow, 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 look at this. We've got the rudder stuck in the hole in the ground. You can see right there. They had to dig a hole. Had to use that shovel over there. Had to dig a hole to drop the rudder out of the bottom of the boat right there. The reason they had to do that was they had to get the shaft pulled back to change the cutlass bearing inside the shaft and there's just not enough elbow room to get the shaft out with the rudder in place. Let me wade through the water over here to starboard and you can see the shaft. Look how big the shaft is here. See my hand? I don't know how big that guy is. Maybe three and a half to four inches. That's a line cutter. You can see the tapered end of the shaft for the propeller. There is the propeller. We've got another hole dug for the rudder to come out of the boat. You can see how it was pulled out and you can see the V strut, the V strut where the shaft came out of the inside of the boat. Let me walk around through this muddy mess. Here's the big nut that holds the propeller on the back of the shaft. This is the key. Look how big this stuff is compared to my hand. And I've got big hands. Trim tab actuators or ramrods if you want to use that word. I'm glad I'm not carrying anything electrical because I'm walking around in the water. You can see the V strut. V like Victor. You can see how big it is. It's got a vertical and a diagonal. And watching this shaft you can see the end of the shaft where the key goes. See that square hole? That's the key. And that slides up inside of this cutlass bearing. You can see the grooves in the cutlass bearing. And that goes all the way up inside the boat and connects to the rear of the transmission. So we've got some work going on here to change the cutlasses. The cutlass inside here. And you can see where that cutlass is not a perfect match. Somebody had to epoxy that in there to fill it in because this is a foreign built boat and the, um, the replacement parts might not be perfectly matched. So I'm told that they perfectly matched the shaft outside diameter but were not able to match the cutlass or the uh, strut inside diameter. And that's not the company doing the work on this boat now. That's an unknown company that did the work on the boat before this boat arrived in the boatyard. Looking a little forward, you can see the active fin stabilizer. And you can see it's been raining here for quite a bit. If the rain stops, the crew will get back out here and continue working on the boat. You can see the rudder down there in the hole in the ground. See the other propeller, the port propeller, and this rudder in the hole in the ground right here that's actually full of water. So if you want to learn anything about cutlass bearings, shafts, propellers, or rudders, ask Captain Chris.